All right, dude. Was something we discussed unclear? Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Attend the tasting ceremony. This ought to be fun. Hey, Captain. Um, apparently, I can't talk to anybody, so we're just going to be chilling. And well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get Sabjorn squirm? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. Don't drink it. Oh, she's gonna drink it. <laughs> That's the whole I point of us. What? What's in this? I, I don't know. What's wrong? Like how she just kind of like rummages through you people's stuff. This place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Well, are you going to talk to me? You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. I assure you, this is all just a huge Whoa. misunderstanding. I said, move. Ha ha. All right, cool beans. I don't think that could have gone any better. Neither do I. Anything else you need before you head back to Rifton? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Alrighty, cool. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him. And saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Whatever. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. Uh, where is his office exactly? Is it in this building or is it in the other building? It says it's like right there, but that definitely can't be true. Let's go look around. Oh, what do we got over here? What do we got over here? Aha, there's an upstairs. Wait a minute. Yep, I think it's right in there. Cool. Alright, well, whatever. And let's get out of here. Head back to Riften, I believe, at this point. Let me over... Fine. I'll walk around like an idiot. Nope, don't want to go that way anyway. Alright, so I'll meet you out at Riften. Right, is Maven still chilling out here at the area over here? I think she is. I don't think she's too far away, at least. Yep, there she is. She has not moved. Why would she? Oh, you're even I uglier in the light. Good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Hmm. All right. Whatever. Out of my way. Oh, back down to the thieves' guild we go, I suppose. 
At least it's like two feet away. I kind of like this super secret door, although it gets a little bit annoying because I've been here like four or five times recently and you just have to wait for it. There we go. Oh, do, do, there we go. It's a little bit silly. Alright, so who are we talking to in here? Are we actually going all the way into the Thieves Guild this time? Kind of looks like we are. What do you want, man? Let's talk for a moment. You're making waves around here. I like that. If you ever want to talk about anything, you let Look, me know. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Know what I mean? Sure. Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. Whoa. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens. Living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Oh wait, it gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits? And that they killed my entire family who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Maybe one day. Just not today. Really? I listened to this whole. St I hope we bump into each other. Yeah, that was a real nice conversation there. Sure, certainly do hope. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. I'm sure he does. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Alrighty, we will do that. Starting things left and right here. And, oh, well, at least this dude's, like, conveniently located right here. Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. All right, sounds fine. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gaudy lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Didn't I just talk to that guy? Um, I can't believe Gullum pretty sure I just talked to that guy, didn't I? Oh no, you're some other guy. He could scam a beggar out of his last scepter, but he's no mastermind. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last scepter, but he's no trouble. 
He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Uh, sounds good to me. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Uh... Alright, we might as well ask him a few right other questions. Get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullum Eyes holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Hmm, that's probably fine. Good luck in solitude. All right, well, I guess we're going off to solitude now, so I will meet you out there. Alrighty, well, we're here in solitude, and I guess we're going. Is it in here? Yep, it's in here. It sounds really gross, the Winking Skeever. I don't like that name at all. What are people doing name and stuff like that? Uh, so, let's. I, I kind of want to just get this Thieves Guild stuff done, I guess, so that we can move on with our lives. Can I pick this? No, I, sh I sure can't. Um, Alright, so we're looking for one of those horrible reptile monsters, right? Yep. So. What do we have here? I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Come I on, man. I expected to remember every deal I handle. Uh, let's try persuade. I don't care what you promise. I always fail. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Well, here. Well, try intimidate. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. God damn it! It's not smart for business. Fine, I'll well, bribe you. Now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine that just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. You want me to go steal from the friggin' Empire? That's... Castle, he used to just be able to see solitude over the mountains. That's exactly what I'd imagined. Oh, cool. Whatever. This is gonna suck. Uh... Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Let's ask him about the rumors. Falion of Morthal has studied vampires, Draugr, and all matter of undead. All right, well that's useless. Whatever, man. All right, so how are we gonna go steal this without getting everybody in the Empire all mad at me? My sneakiness is not very good, if I'm honest. Where is the palace from here? It's over that way somewhere. What? what the hell's going on? What is going on over here? Hmm. Well, let's just uh see who wins here, I guess. Yeah, they I should probably help out, but nah, they got it. They got it. Don't mind if I just go ahead and do some looting here then. Uh okay, there we go. It's like a lag fest for a second there. I don't know what that was about. Vampire armor. This stuff's pretty expensive. Well, I don't know, we'll take it. That was random. Eh, no, whatever, I'll take that stuff too. You know, I am a vampire. You probably shouldn't be talking that way with me around. It's kind of offensive, man. Alright, so have we, I don't think we, I don't even remember if I've been to the Blue Palace yet or any of that, so this might be new and exciting. 
There's vampires running around here, aren't there? What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, let's go ahead and flame on both sides just in case. I don't know what all these vampires are doing just willy-nilly running around here. Nobody seems that concerned about it. I mean, they attacked them, but... 